Welcome back for another tutorial from Silicon Beats. We're going to create a cool drum and bass synth in Ableton's operator. So it'll sound a little something like this. So it's just this thick sort of chunky drum and bass sound. Now go ahead and pull up a blank instance of operator and we can start to set up our oscillators. For oscillator A we don't really need to change much. Um, we do want to increase our decay to about 6 seconds. And then we want to set our release to about 730 milliseconds. Now for oscillator B we'll go ahead and set this to a square 16 wave. And we'll go up on our level to about minus 20 dB. Let's go down just a touch. And let's go up on our course to plus 20. Good. Now on our envelope, we want to bring our sustain down as well as our peak. Just kind of sinks it in the back a bit. For oscillator C, we want to leave this to a sine wave. Just go up on your phase to about 30 percent and then go up on your level to minus 6 dB. Now on our envelope let's drop our sustain just a touch. Good. Oscillator 4 is set to a sine wave and we'll just drop our sustain slightly and go up on our level about minus 20 dB, somewhere in that neighborhood. Now go ahead and scroll down to your chain selector and choose the fifth chain from the left. So you can see that had a big effect on our sound. Now we'll reduce our voices to one. And then activate your LFO. Now you want to set this to your filter, not to your oscillators. So we'll deselect those. And then we'll activate our filter. We'll choose low SVF. And then we'll go all the way up on our amount. Now we want to set this to sync. We'll put it to an eighth for now. And we can go up on our frequency cutoff. And then up on our resonance. Let's bring our mount down just a bit. And then we'll drop it an octave and uh, put a little spread on it. Now if we wanted a bit more texture we could go back over to oscillator 2 or oscillator B excuse me and go up on the volume just a bit. And now we have a cool drum and bass synth to work with. So this has been a sound design tutorial from Silicon Beats. We hope you found this helpful and be sure to check us out at SiliconBeats.com.